Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Chandra Prakash Dwivedi's Akshay Kumar starrer Samrat Prithiraj. Chandra Prakash Dwivedi is best known for his 1991-92 series Chanakya, which was telecast on Doordarshan. That was a talky affair, but then that was the entire point of the narrative. Chanakya was not a warrior. He was a teacher. He was a philosopher. He was a strategist. So the monologue and dialogue-filled approach fit right into that atmosphere. The same approach backfires in the filmmaker's Samrat Prithiraj. What we want is an action-packed epic. What we get is a series of monologues and dialogues occasionally interrupted by action. We get lines about honor, about feminism. We get more lines about honor and feminism. We get even more lines about honor and feminism. Everything is repeated endlessly. Even the story behind the Sanjay Dutt character's Gandhari-like blindfold is told to us rather than shown. Why not stage this as a scene rather than simply narrating it? Or take this example. Yes, maybe you have to explain to today's audience what the Rajasya Yagna is. But can't that be done through, say, the kind of animation we see during the opening credits? All we get is an information dump, the oral equivalent of a Wikipedia page. To make matters worse, the dialogues aren't written with a flourish, with a fresh flavor. They recycle the rhetorical nature of lines we have heard a hundred times earlier. Like when Sanyogita, played by Manushi Chiller, describes her feelings about Prithviraj Chauhan, who played by Akshay Kumar, of course, with a series of similes. Sample, Jaise Phool or Sugandh Ka, that's their relationship. The result is a dull film, despite so many exciting events, so many exciting possibilities. The long-distance love between Sanyogita and Prithviraj should have been swooningly romantic, the famous Swayamvar scene should have been heart-stoppingly thrilling. The war scenes should have been exciting. They should have been heartbreaking. There's a scene where an Afghan audience watch a captured Prithviraj participate in a gladiatorial spectacle. They first boo him and then they respectfully acknowledge his bravery. This should all have been goose fleshy, but it's like everything else. Various levels of generic. The screenplay makes a major mistake by beginning with a gladiatorial spectacle. Now, when you open your film non-chronologically, you use a scene that misleads the audience. For instance, we think this is what happened, but when we see that scene again in chronological order, we realize that something else had happened and we were just thinking that that happened. But here, the beginning gives away the ending. We know we are watching the last moments of Prithira Chauhan because there is no going back after this. Why spoil it for us? Why not begin instead with a childhood scene that shows how sharp Prithviraj's hearing is? Or with a scene about how Prithviraj first learnt about Sanyogita? Heck, with any other scene. It is inevitable that we recall Sanjay Leela Bansali, whose films have a touch of eccentricity, even madness, in both the dialogues and the visuals. He has a way of making the period look authentic and look human, looks alive. Samrat Prithviraj looks like everyone is playing dress up in a Manyavar commercial. No one owns their role, nobody looks right for their part. The film is deadly earnest without those off moments that you get in a Bhansali film. Manavij as the villainous Mohammad Ghori looks droopy eyed all the time as though he was made to read the entire screenplay before each scene. The war dance before a Jahar ceremony is so out of place that it's laughable. Just like a hurried dance that is intercut with a hurriedly staged battle, a major character dies here and he deserved a much better send-off. These are the times that make you feel that dialogues might have actually been better. I'm not asking for the larger-than-life approach of a Rajamali, but this lies at the other end of the spectrum. It's lifeless. That's it about Samrat Prithviraj. If you like this review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies.